What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Now, we're just going to get into this. Now, the reason this time is a pre-recorded video and not a live stream is because of this way when I'm traveling to other locations. Unfortunately, I have not done any progressions, but I now know where I have to go. Particularly, I also found out during a YouTube video there are some snow boots here. Also, I found out where the t-shirt is which is over here in this location. I also found out that I can actually teleport now. So, I'm going to teleport to First, I'm going to place a uh, marker right here. It's going to be red. And we're going to teleport to here. And then I'm going to walk all the way over to there. So, let's teleport. To teleport, I just press the A button. And you might have noticed, I said, let's get the load screen. That's another thing I can do when I'm not live streaming. I can edit out the load screens. So I have to head to the red marker, which is on my map. That is where we're going to find a t-shirt. I think I can... Uh, yes. Right in that mountain top, that is where we'll find a t-shirt. And seeing that I have already defeated the enemies. Still haven't figured out what that chiming sound is. But on my personal playthrough, I have not got in through any of the dungeons. I don't know how to do that. Sadly, I'm gonna have to look through somebody else's tutorials just to find that. Apparently I have already collected these. Oh, these bats are back. Unless I never killed these. Oh, no, I killed them. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had this boulder attached to my shield. That's another thing. I found out I can unfuse weapons. If I go into here, and hit the A button, and hit drop, remove, or defuse material. And now it's just back to a normal shield. That thing, as far as I can tell, is harmless. But you do get these snow crystals if you defeat it. Blizzard gem. I have no clue what they're for. I also know there are some more keys over here. Whoa! The stick literally just broke on it. Okay, there's a chest over there. But what I'm gonna do is get rid of these because we're gonna need some material. And there's some more material over here. <laughs> and then boom. Also, I like to mention, I've been making a little YouTube, YouTube shorts, basically. It's with all my original characters, like Gardabelle, which is basically a fusion of Isabel from Animal Crossing and God of War from Pokemon. I tried to make it look like they have characteristics of both of them, but at the same time different. I realized when I made God of War, her skirt was a little too short. So I made a newer version of her that actually has 
a too longer skirt. And then we have our sh shirt. And now we have to go back over here to the snow biome to get the snow boots. Now, I don't know if there's other stuff here, but I do know of this. I, by that, I mean, apparently I still have some snow resistance here. So I don't know if the boots actually will give me any protection. But right over here, in this little hollow out tree stump, is a chest. We can also get an agent's core, because I also know what to do with them now. And we have a pair of snow boots with defense. So in theory that should give me some protection if I have something else. Now I'm not going to use that just yet because we're going to be using some of that. We have those gliders there so we can get back down. But we can also get up here to that little Zinko machine or something. Oh wow, that was a little too close for comfort. Literally. Okay. So, I believe in the previous run I tried using these. No good. Those, no good. You need these. You need these in this machine. And you give that, and that will give you materials. As you can clearly see, we got the wing glider. We got a lot of items now. And we can like, keep um, spamming this and getting more materials. And if you remember from the previous run in my live stream, I mentioned that the so called things similar to Breath of the Wild. Well, yeah, I feel like this is a, just a carbon copy of Breath of the Wild. So, I feel like the $60 price tag isn't worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the game, but the price is just not... I just don't like the price they shows for basically a carbon copy of Breath of the Wild. Just with a new coat of paint. Get on there. And this should glide us off. Oh wait a minute, no. I could just use the teleportation pad, but basically I'm showing you if you don't have that, you can just simply do this, which will ha actually help you. If you move on the wings, you can control on um, how it glides to you. But we're not done. Just like Breath of the Wild, there's actually a fourth shrine. I wish I'm making that up, but not. And this is where we go to go to the fourth shrine and get the new ability. In my personal playthrough, the first time I did this, I actually just went onto those panels from here, which I don't know how I did that. That was obviously just a fluke. But this is probably actually the proper way of you getting over here. Also, I found out that the controls are totally different. But you can switch it so it's similar. The jump button is the run button, and the run button is the jump button. And here we are. 
the fourth shrine. And this little guy, I haven't figured out what you do with it, but I only know that you need like a hundred items to get it, and I do not have even ten. So he's totally useless to us. Oh, we went right back to sleep. Okay, so let's head to the fourth shrine, get the next ability. Which I forgot to... I forgot if we actually get an ability here. I played this game so many times you think I would know. Oh, no we don't. This is just a time trial. Basically, Lily, it's a time trial. Trial. You basically have to try and get over there, and fortunately for me, this time there doesn't seem to be a delay in the audio. I don't know why there was a delay during my live stream. Let me just. Uh, Go into options and just show you something. There's a function here that allows you to thrish jump controls. There. That should make it a little easier for me. See? The jump button is now the B button. Which, in my opinion, is just like the Breath of the Wild. And it feels like I have... It just feels... Better to me. Okay, that did not work out for me. Maybe I'm prepared to do this. Oh. I can't believe I was messing that up. I had to press... The A button to... Literally get the... And these... It's just a bunch of barrels. As far as I know, there's no fire arrows or ice arrows. I think the only way you get, like, ice arrows is if you, like, go into here and grab, like, a white choo-choo jelly, and that turns it into an ice arrow. So, and as you can clearly see, it makes platforms. Okay, here, you have to have it like that. Oh, I messed that up. I'm gonna have to aim for those to, like, cross before I freeze it. Like right now. There we go. And now, we're here. We have our fourth shrine. What I found out is basically the arm we have is the arm of the first king of Hyrule. Now, this is just a theory I have, but I believe the Princess Zelda, according to the lore, she is the goddess sage of time. So perhaps she used her sage powers when she was falling in to go back in time. Which allows her to meet the first king of Hyrule. At least, that's what I have picked up so far. Also, I mean... Also, I mean, 
back and played some Breath of the Wild, and I noticed none of these islands were in the sky. So, the Zonai tribe, which is my theory on this, I don't have any hard evidence. But I believe... One button. I believe they had some kind of technology to prevent Hylians from seeing these floating islands. So when the Hylian looked up, he just see blue skies. But now, perhaps because the Zonai are completely gone or something, maybe they, uh, technology that was keeping that islands hidden is gone but that's just the theory I have I have no hard evidence and this thing is not working for me I'm gonna have to go oh now he's turning to where I want him to go Okay, I think I should jump now. No, that's not the button. There we go. Here's the bomb. Dang it! I was hoping I would hit that lily pad. Speaking of which, this is one giant lily pad. <coughs> Anyway, there's also some mushrooms up here. I just haven't gotten the location of them quite yet. Okay, yeah, these are the only mushrooms up here. Oh, I don't even have the boots. Oh, I have the snow boots on. But I still don't know if it will give me any protection. Anyway, there's a deco tree and that coral cork seed you can get over here. Once again, on my personal playthrough, I have not figured out what I'm supposed to do with these. And like I said before, I just hope the item they give you at the end for collecting all these cork seeds is a lot better than a freaking golden poop. And boom. Yeah, yeah you found me, yeah. And I got five cork seeds. So now we have to head all the way back up there. I could say wait a long time in this game. You think I would have dried out by now? Oh wait. No, no. Oh, that's another thing. If I'm high enough, I can actually get on top. I can literally get on top of this. Oh, Temple of Time. Yeah, apparently the Zonai's have their own version of the Temple of Time. Though I'm, I'm a little curious, who's maintaining all this? Who's maintaining all this? I mean, there have to be a person who is literally keeping these things warning. Maybe it's a spirit of a Zonai. Hey, I finally got the name right. There's the goddess statue. Now before you're wondering if you can get use to get more stamina, all you can do right now is get more health. And the Temple of Time from Breath of the Wild is still there, but the Guardians, the Guardians around it 
are gone. Yeah, there's no guardians. Now, I believe that black mist that just poured out of Link, I think that's supposed to represent that there's still malice inside Link, but not to change his personality. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, this will trigger a cutscene once we open it, so I'll be quiet for that part. And now I just have to hold down the A button. You think he, Four Horse would not do it, but apparently it will. Every time. Open Sesame. And I don't mean the street. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought he was going to be knobby, but this is the last time we talked to him. Oh, I'm going to be quiet now. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You are almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Our time together has been brief. I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. And that ends the cutscene. Also, I wanted to show you. Okay, as you can clearly see, the Master Sword does not show up in our even. Well, it is in our inventory, but we can't select it. But when we do this, we can't select it either. So, we're just going to pick the sword for now. And you'll see the Master Sword mysteriously appears on our backs. Once we get to that pedestal platform or whatever you call it. We just have to... Head upwards. And up we go. I prefer to do that so we can actually see him. We gotta do that like at least one more time to get to the pedestal. And I think this is straight from the trailer where we see Link like right there. This is straight from the trailer, I believe. So they showed us, like, towards the end, when we were gonna leave the Sky Islands. And now, let us give the Master Sword to Zelda in the past, in theory. It's a time stone. It's reacting. Oh, Fi is responding. So Fi is still alive. Sort of. So I'm guessing this thing will teleport the Master Sword back in time where Zelda can use her goddess's powers to restore the Master Sword. And probably later in the game, we get it back once we gain enough abilities. And you won't know if the Master Sword will look like it used to or totally different.
Okay, I think this is like black and white like that. That's supposed to like represent the past. She can hear Fi. I think Fi is like saying, help me. Help me. That's what it sounds like to me. Only window to the past is gone. Oh! Oh wow! I forgot what that dragon's name is. Whoa! That's still freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie. So now to the Kingdom of Hyrule. I gotta land in the water or I'll die. Okay, we got plenty of water there. We're coming in like a rocket. Boom! Perfect swan dive. Maybe I should have landed closer to the surf. Um. Oh no, that works out for me. I can be standing and replenish my health. Go underneath this lily pad. Totally planned. And there's some shrines here on the surface. And they're pretty easy to spot. They actually made them a lot easier to find because of the glow around them. So we just have to head to the glowing marker. And activate the new type of Chica Tower. And we have some Bacoblin outputs, and there's some Bacoblins that are just working around. There's like these stations where logs are here. Now, I'm guessing because so-called Calamity Ganon is destroyed, the people up Hyrule are trying to rebuild their civilization. I got a rusty broadsword, I'm betting. I'm betting that's what I have. Oh man, I caught it, rusty broadsword. Here we could build a wagon if we wanted. Okay, I do not want to go there. I don't feel like I'm strong enough for that yet. So we're just gonna make a quick stop over here to these ruins because it looks like it's pretty vacant so let's see if there's any goodies around here oh wait for good thing oh my goodness I must have activated the fire flowers plants on his back. Oh, over there. See? There's the first Chica Tower. Or Zonai Shrine, I should call it. That's probably what they're going with. Zonai Shrines. Because they're not Chica Shrines, they're Zonais. Oh, look at that. That looks like a mother duck leading her baby ducklings around. 
We want to avoid them. So, we're just going to take the long way around the busted up dragon. Another Bacoblin. <laughs> just as I thought. <laughs> These swords could, could... Why do they all have to be damaged? Nintendo, what the heck were you thinking? Getting back to my characters with uh, God of Bell, which I, like I told you, is a fusion of God of War and Isabel. Oh no. Dang it. I can't make a shortcut through there without them killing. I want to get those plants too, but I can't go with, with, look at him. It looks like he's got a sword sticking out of his head. Lex! Oh no, he saw me! Damn it! I'm not ready for this! Get away from me! Oh no, he's getting ready to throw something at me. Oh, and the little ones are throwing pebbles at me. With my damaged health, that is not a good thing. Did I lose them? Oh no, they're still following me! Okay, and now they're blowing their horns. Literally. Wait, where they go? Okay, good. They lost track of me. That's good. <coughs> All right. Hey guys, I'm back. Link, it's you. You're back. Where have you been? The last thing anyone saw of either you or Princess Zelda was when you were in to investigate the gloom. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Don't care what you have to say. Ah. You know, wait, I just realized we have, we have this now. Okay, the game's not letting me, uh, show it but oh wait we have this now what happened to the seeker slate uh, don't get me wrong i like it, the design and i wish that was be a like a special edition fresh why did nintendo do that i mean i know they can't like put the camera right on it but they can at least print the back to look like that not to mention the joy cons that would be so freaking cool if you could see I think the only way you can have that is like you get, if you get customized Joy-Cons. And even then, that's weird. Okay. I'm gonna eat something just to get rid of that sound. Unfortunately, the only things I have there right there. So let's look for a cooking station. Okay, that was not like that before. Can we open it? Okay. Uh, but don't touch that. Well, is still under construction, so please stay clear for now. If you feel in the... Okay, so we can't access the underway yet. So you definitely have to talk to Poya. But I wanna do some cooking first. 
So that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to look for a cooking station. And the fact that I don't know if there's a cooking station or not, it's because I didn't bother to really look for that. I could just plainly just eat some random stuff. It looks like I'm gonna have to use one of my disposable cooking stands. Yeah, I got four of them, so let's take it out. And let's see, do we have any apples? Okay, we got plenty of these, so we'll just make one dish with these and see. Uh, you see, makes the sounds from the previous game. Okay, that should be more than enough to replenish our health. Oh yeah, just one heart short, but at least it stops that thing beeping or shining. I should Duck? Hmm? Hey! Shoni? Oh. I'm probably butchering that name. Poya. Poya. Wait, that's probably butchering that name too. Oh! Whoa! She grew up! Okay. Now where have you been? I think she improved Lucky, our invention. You're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. Wow. What exactly happened? And I thought she looked cute as a little girl. But now... Wow. I like her design. Particularly her outfit. I'm gonna be quiet now. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rawr. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yep, that seems she is I'm not gonna say I'm gonna say she looks hot. And I bet there's going to be a lot of fan art in a few weeks of her in her new design. Huh? What? Now you just noticed that in the sky? Seriously? I'm thinking my theory is that they had some kind of cloaking device that was somehow deactivated. I think that's how it became unnoticeable for so long. Hmm. Okay, now he, she wants me to go see some guys at the castle. So I'm just skipping yeah. through all this dialogue. And here we have her bio. Her and her little self. We have Roru Koya Hoya? I'm probably butchering her name. In Zelda. Anyway, to the Castle of Hyrule. So, let's hop down here. 
Oh, and there's a Zonai shrine here. This would be a good halfway point that we can use. Right over there. Let's see if we can spot any more sh Zonai shrines around here. Okay, no, those are just heels. I thought that was another. We can see more of those towers. And we have to head. Like I said, the Zonai shrines are a lot easier to spot. Especially since they're glowing. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Chica shrines glow too, but these, I feel, are more noticeable. Also, the Chica shrines are all gone. I'm guessing... I'm guessing when Ganondorf rised the... I'm guessing he's, there's like these sinkholes in the ground. And when Ganondorf rose the castle, he sunk the shrines down. Because they go down deep, really deep. And I believe this is like going back in time. See how everything's like in black and white? In the Zelda community, that pretty much like insinuates it. It's in black and white. Oh yeah, this is a test thing, basically teaching you how to dodge. He doesn't shoot the owls. Basically, we just have to do the dodging. This is good because sometimes you're a little rusty, and this guy has a longer range, so sometimes you have to double jump away. Okay, I'm too far away. Ow! Okay, this is gonna be difficult. What the? I tried to jump! The, the, I feel like it's the controller. Ow! Oh, maybe I have to dodge. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing wrong. I was doing the wrong type but dodging. Now I have to dodge backwards. Alright, first try. Next up is the shield. The shield block. And this sword is about to break, so hopefully I can do it right the first time. Dang it. Oh, come on, I hit. Maybe. There we go. Okay, now I gotta do the charge attack. Yeah, I know the drill. Boom. Oh, I was hoping I could get that car before I free decides to freeze me. And mission accomplished. Okay, I got Rusty Broadsword. Hopefully, next update fixes this issue to get all of these rusty items and stuff. I'm looking at you, Nintendo. Why do I still have a tree branch? Okay, that's shrine number one on the surface, I believe. This feels like we're back in time. And I'm just gonna skip that because we don't need to go through that all over again. 
And I realize I'm still wearing the snow boots. Uh, getting back to my animation, Gordabelle is the guide of my character, Edge the Fox Bat. And before you realize this, yes, that's an actual creature, there's actually an animal called a Fox Bat. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but for those of you who don't know, it's a very big bat. So big, you need two arms to hold its ring span. Anyway, and it's orange, it's an orange bat, and the face looks like a fox, hence the name Fox Bat. Now, this is what I don't get about this game. Why are the guards protecting a ruined slash abandoned castle. I mean, what are you going to rob? Especially, you think they would call back, come back when the castle like literally started floating? You think they would like, well, let's head back to base camp. But no. The staying guard. I guess I have to say they're very loyal. I guess Princess Zelda told them to guard the castle grounds. But where are they guarding from? It's practically it's literally ruins. Unless there's some treasure left in the castle. I'm guessing Ganondorf has made that Ganon's castle. Okay, there's some highly mushrooms right here. Basically, the people we have to talk to are on the top roof. There we go. Alright, good. We're right here, and these are the two we have to talk to. And Princess Zelda will appear here over there during the cutscene or somewhere great another freaking wait did I just place oh, okay let's just talk to you guys and just sorry but I'm in the okay yeah, blah 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 blah, yada yada yada. Don't really care, yada yada yada. Okay, so that's where Zelda was. Hmm. Okay, normally I would just go back to base camp. But perhaps I should check that location where Zelda was. In my personal playthrough, I did not do that. Huh? I don't know if it means anything. Hmm. I don't have the paraglider. So... I don't want to get damaged. I only have four hearts, so I gotta play this carefully. And I just let go for no damn reason. Okay, so Zelda appeared somewhere around here. I think she appeared over there. Some more pieces of wood. But you think they would have stones here? You 
it's getting dark. So this is where Zelda allegedly was, I think. So let's climb this and see. Oh no, the blood moon. Now that lizard just disappeared into the freaking mountain. It's gotta be something here. I mean, Zelda literally was here. So, there's gotta be something. Gee, I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Oh wait, that's not it. Uh, Uh, yeah, that was totally worth it. Oh, we could get a good view. We could see another shrine right there. Let's see, another shrine there. A shrine over there, if I can target it right. Another shrine there. Well, I think we got like one, two, three, four shrines located. That one doesn't count because that's another freaking. I didn't realize I killed that many enemies. I mean, I only killed the uh, guardians on the plateau. The floating Witness island. The blood moons rise. How is she communicating with me? Shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. I didn't kill any of these guys. The world is threatened once again. A mama duck with her ducklings again. I'm looking around for any more shrines. So far, looks like from this. Oh! Looks like there's one more over there. What the. Another shrine there. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Selection. Delete. Okay. Now where was that? Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so we have all the shrines located. But how do I get back down? Without That's a good reason why they tap guards here. But to get back, we just simply teleport halfway there. See you during the cut after the editing. Here we go back at the beginning. And we have all the. Sh I guess we don't have all the shrines located. I'll have to go to those other ones that I have already labeled before I can go to any other ones. We have them labeled, but we need to. a plaque? Silent Princess. Oh, lost to the calamity, Zelda. Oh, she had this. This is a memorial for all those whose lives were lost during the 
Calamity Cannon attack. I guess there was way too many to count up to give burials, so they gave it a plaque to honor the death of the many who have fallen. There's a couple of islands over there. I have a question. Are the guardians here? Uh, Divine Peace, sorry. Are the Divine Peace here? No, the water fountain is still closed up. So we can't do anything until we have the tower activated. And the tower won't activate until we talk to Poya. Which kind of sounds like a food dish, if you ask me. I'm just going to skip through this dialogue. I just want to get out of the story. Okay, she showed uh, the pictures. God, it's a giant tower. Come on. I can't skip this. Though I wish I could. But no, they just want to showcase the whole freaking tower. The reason I don't listen to you is because I don't want to stop and read everything, Nintendo. You can have voice actors for the cutscenes, but not for the freaking dialogue. What's up with that? Now we head over to here to where... Look out, Lambert Star. Uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. She's asking to, like, activate the towers now. That looks like a guardian right there. Shantatoria was made out of an old guardian's shell. Apparently they have fireworks in this world. And that looks like a... So this is basically like saying, hey, I'm activated. Hey, I'm activated too. So am I. Don't forget me. Basically, that's what those lags are indicating that these towers have been activated. Oh. All the Shika towers have now been activated. Okay, so I have to activate with my Hoya tablet. Hoya tablet? I'm probably butchering that name, I'm sorry. Okay, it's all blue, so soon that means it's activated now. Alright. The Shika Tower is now activated on all maps. This means you can now use the tower's points to get here at any time instantly. <laughs> so basically the load screens are indicating like I'm teleporting there. Yeah, you already showed me the tower, and now you're just replaying the same load screen. Uh -huh. You know, I bet as soon as a lot more people play this game, there's going to be a lot of fan art yeah. of her adult form. And you know what? I bet some people are going to ship Link with Poya again. If I'm butchering the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just like a Nintendo fish.
And this is why she gave us the paraglider. That's not a rope, folks. That's a wire. A cable, if you will. This is like scanning the location. It's processing the data, and now it's giving it an update to the tablet. Okay. I should tell you, if you're gonna go to the Hylia Shrines, I would recommend Okay, there's a shrine right over there. I think that's the shrine I did not look. Yeah, I think that is. I'm gonna wait into the very end. That looks like a crater. Oh, yeah, that looks like a crater from a meteorite. We have touched down in... This looks like the desert biome. At least that's what it looks like to me. And here's our f second shrine in the overworld. Oh, I should also mention the so called great fairy fountains still exist here. Uh, because apparently they're still c they're closed up again. Let's see. A fan. So, I think I know what I have to do here. I have to, to like, literally make, like, a platform that I have to literally make, like, a... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's basically what we have to do. Oh, gee, I wonder what I'm about to do here. Wait, can I grab this now? Can I grab this fan? Yes, I can. Good. Now my graph will have two fans. So it will be twice as fast. Okay. I want to put it like right there. I think they plan on you only using one fan, not two. The more fans you use, the faster your rise becomes. There we go, and blast off! I've been beached. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, there should be a chest somewhere. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do here. It's pretty obvious what you gotta do. You basically have to attach these fans to here. Oh, they gave you... Oh, there's the chest!
That's not accurate. So, I wanted to see if I put multiple fans down. Oh! I see what they want me to do here. Would you believe this is actually my first time doing this dungeon? Or shrine, I should say? I have not... In my personal playthrough, I have not gone to this shrine yet. Um... If I go near there right now, that's definitely gonna kill me. Okay. Okay. So I got two fans on each side. How fast it's gonna be? We'll just have to wait and see. I have no idea. I have a feeling if I had fans that were not too on the side, it would be a lot longer. Or not working at all. Another shrine down. And another shrine down. And another shrine down. And another shrine bait the dust. I kind of push that song. That's two down. Two more to go and I can upgrade my health. Or stamina. Should I upgrade my health or stamina? Hmm. Ooh. We're in the middle of a thunderstorm. There's another tower there. Is there anyone who's close to me? Uh oh. I know that sound. I... What's one? Okay. Obviously it's my shield because I got wooden shields. Uh, my sword, I should say. I think the game wanted me to go back to there. There's one over there. There's one there. I think that's the closest. Oh. Yeah. There is a tower. It's full of bokoblins. And in my honest opinion, at the level I am right now, and the gear I have, they are ray, way stronger than me. Ooh. Dude, you shouldn't be standing that close. It's the only damn fuck, dude. You really stand right next to a hose. Shrines are everywhere. I should change my boots. I really don't know if that would do any difference. But that's the completed look. I mean, you could still get the gear from the previous game. Like the Hylian hood, the Hylian tunic, the Hylian boots. You can actually purchase it if you have enough cash. Which, uh, unfortunately, I do not have. So I would have to find a 
cooking station and well you could pretty much put two and two together. I think I got two shrines, I need one more and then Oh, I got a shrine right here next to me. Whoa! Ow! Did I... Oh, crap! That thing will say sh I think that's because if I take the place of the Guardians. That thing... I think that's about to take the place of the Guardians. Once it times you target, it will pursue you until you lose it. And it will drain your health. You want to keep away from that. Floor hands. Skip that, because that's pretty much the same thing. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly... Alright. Beep beep. I can either create this freaking car or use one that's already pre-made. Yep. And forward! Okay. Now this one, we're going to need a timer, but not yet. First we got to spin this around just long enough until I run out of stamina. Alright. Now. I'll hop back on here. Hit this. Okay. Technically, I didn't even need to. Oh. All right. Now this one. It took me a couple of tries, but basically what you gotta do is simply glue this onto there. And now... Hmm. I'm ex... Oh, I have it facing the wrong way. It's gotta go like this. With the dragon head facing the other way. It should be fast enough. Hmm. Okay, the only other thing I could think of is have both of them on there. Get back here. There we go. Now, let's try this again. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I just gotta do the same thing on this side. And... That's not even... But maybe it will work. We'll just wait and see. Am I even doing this right? It should work. There we go, it wasn't all the way on the track. Oh, you gotta kill me! And now it's all the way over there. How did I get that back here? Hey, come back here! Let's try and not mess this up this time. Okay, that's the third try. Skip! <coughs> Yes! And... Oh, I guess it... I gotta press the B button. I guess I could have got by with by pressing the A button too. Okay, next shrine. Next shrine should be near that tower. I could have. Uh, I'm not bothering you. You don't bother me. Okay, I remember. There's like a little trick I learned. If I could build like an elevator, well, kind of of an elevator, I can literally skip having to deal with those macabins at that shrine. I think that's the shrine right there. I really can't tell if it has those spikes around it. That's a dead giveaway. Oh, I do not want to deal with him. He's too strong. Yep, that's the tower. Wait, what's this green stuff? Oh, yeah. Save that for after I beat this shrine. On one of the islands, as I was saying, on one of the islands in the sky, you basically have to build the Zoai tribe. Oh, this is the baseball one. That's what I call it. Basically, this is showing you what you have to do. Basically, you have to attach a base to there right there, and basically play baseball. Twice, if you want to get the chest. Once, if you just want to just open up this door, will lead you to the shrine's exit, 
that one will lead you to a chest. So, at first, it wants you to try to hit the ball to there. So, we're gonna... Stick that there. And we're gonna... Put this... I don't want to fall off the edge. So maybe I should have. Maybe I should have shrunk this over the other side. Because then I have more room to literally work with. Uh. Did I. Wait. What just happened? I thought I attached it. To here, but it's saying I. What the heck? Okay, let's try that again, shall we? I have no idea what just happened there. All right, and we'll just add one more. To make it extra long. Okay. I don't know what happened to make it just go poof gone. Okay. Oh man, that. Okay, this is all about timing. This will take a while. Ah, looks like part of it broke off. Yeah, it broke off. And now I have to hit that. Ah, uh, this thing is in the way. So we have to first fix it so it's out of the way. And boom. Okay, that's out of the way. Wait for the ball to head back. It must have hit with so much force. Let's see. Open the seal. Can I get this first try? I don't know. We're about to find out, though. Oh my goodness! That was no editing magic. That was first try. And what do we get in the chest? A potion of ex Alright. And once we get this one, we'll be able to exchange it for either stamina or health. You guys get to choose which one. First one they will Establish if I should go with stamina or health. That's the one where I'll go with for the next upload. Do, 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 do. Boom four. Okay. Let's see, can I grab that chest? No, I cannot. It won't let me. So, this is the only option I have. Okay. 
And now... Here it is! And with my prize, baby! Okay, that like extends the length of your battery, but only temporarily. That's a good item to have. What I need now is some more items. Oh, great. Okay. Good, we got some platforms here. I can use them. We're basically making an elevator. Basically, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna put it on this side. And then we grab one of these. And we stick that there. That's not what I wanted to do. Um... Oh. Okay. Boom. After we finish this, there, we basically have our elevator. I know it doesn't look like much, but you see, I'm pretty sure some of you watching already know what I'm going to be doing with this. There we go. We have our elevator. Now, all we have to do is get on the other side where the tower is. And then we can avoid all those metabolins. So, see you once I'm over there. I guess I could tell you more about my story. About uh, my YouTube Shorts videos. They're basically... Like, I've been watching this one anime called The Black Summoner. Basically, this guy gave up his memories, and he had more status. I kind of like that, but the English dub kind of messed that up. Basically, when the Goddess of Reincarnation was explaining how it was working, he said, and I quote, You sound like a tutorial in a video game. And that struck me as odd. If, in fact, it was true and he gave up a little his memories for more skill points, then how would he know what a video game is? Or a tutorial for that matter. And then we have our elevator, folks. And you can pretty much guess what we're going to have to do next. And... Oh. Are we going all the way up? No. Second floor! Rocks and wood. Third floor. 
Spiky things in the tower. Fourth floor! Just gotta remember which button to do to jump. And... Voila! We have made it! Without alerting the Bacoblins. Easy. And now we can come back to here, but honestly, I think the only reason you would want to come back here is to get launched out of the top again. You know, when Link first saw this, I could understand its expression. I mean, those were guardian claws. So I think there's a... I think I know why you don't see any more guardian remains in Hyrule. I think they gathered all the guardian pieces. When you defeated Calamity Ganon, all the guardians became inactive. And then the Hylians dismantled them and used them to make more technological advancements. That's why they got these wires transmitting data back and forth. And we have the Great Plateau marked out now. Some towers might take a little more finesse, but those are the two towers I've managed to get so far. Okay. I think those ink blobs that actually follow you are supposed to be like floor guardians. Oh, looks like all the other towers are like around here. So, why don't we teleport back to the tower, the base camp? Also, if I was to go to the Great Plateau in the um, Temple of Time there, the Hylia statue would not work. Trust me, I tried multiple times and it was not accessible. Let's talk to this guy, which will now give us access to underground. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's pretty much our hidden base. Great. Was that always there? Was that always there? And now you can see the water fountain is now available. So let's go pollute their waters. We'll just swim in their drinking water. Da -da 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 -da. Don't mind me, just poisoning your water supply. And open sesame. Fall underneath here. I think there's just goodies. Collectibles. Ah, and here's a chest. Looks like it's a chest from the old game. Okay, let's um That's fourteen. This is only I got two rusty broadswords. Let's drop that one. Okay. Oh, you know what? I can still have that rusty broadsword. I'll just combine it with this rusty broadsword. Which basically makes it stronger.
and into the base we go. Wow. Looks like somebody was shocked. They had newspapers here? Can we see what's on the news? I think they're saying they're rebuilding up high road, needing people to help. I'm just guessing that's what it says. This is the Hylia statue we can use. Now if you remember from the Skyland, we could only upgrade our hearts, but now we can upgrade our stamina and health. I'm not going to do it because I'm still waiting for your decisions. I'm just going to show you we have both options here. But I'm going to wait until you decide what I should do. Should I do literally more health or more stamina? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until the next one, it's a show of NA2, signing off. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not check out one of these ones and why you're at it? Why not subscribe and give this video a like? Also, share it with your friends and help this channel grow. Shadow Fan 82 would really appreciate it.